This cost me an arm and a leg. I mean, think of how many Snickers bars I can't have because of this. Hey guys, it's Sue here and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I am going to be reviewing the YSL All Hour Fondation. And you know, as you guys might have known, uh, I do like to usually cover affordable brands on my channel. But I was personally very curious about this foundation myself because people actually said that it gave coverage. So we're going to see how good of a coverage it has, how well it applies on the skin, and how good of a longevity it has. And yeah, as you guys might have guessed, this was some expensive stuff. This cost me an arm and a leg. I mean, think of how many Snickers bars I can't have because of this. But nonetheless, we're going to try this baby out today. And yeah, let's get this video started. So basically, I have nothing on my face right now, as you guys can probably guess. On one half, I'm going to use the Real Techniques Booty Blender. And for the other half, I'm going to be using this foundation brush from Makeup Forever and just see what kind of works well. Okay, so actually not that runny. I thought it would be much more fluidy, but it has a bit of a viscosity. And I got the shade mine in B20 because B30 was too dark for me. So I got mine in B20. So I'm going to spread this evenly across my face and just see how well it does. Okay, so this is definitely one of those foundations where it really clings onto your skin and it's kind of matte. Huh, doesn't seem to be doing much for coverage, right? You can still see a lot of like acne scars. I don't know guys, if it dries out immediately, sort of like the Estee Lauder Double Wear. I don't know guys, I don't know. Is this coverage? I don't know, I don't see any coverage. Let me just build it up, maybe you can see a difference. No, okay. I think the sponge is just soaking everything up. That's why I'm not getting anything. So on the other side of the face, I'm going to be using this Makeup Forever brush in 406. And hopefully this will give a better application. So on this side of my face, I have some acne here, a bit of acne scars here, and redness, and it's a disaster. Oh yeah, okay. This gives way better application with the brush, guys. I can immediately tell that... Oh, hello, coverage! Oh, yes, honey. Come through, come through. So the brush worked way better than the Booty Blender. It gives a really nice application. Better coverage, definitely. So this is definitely a foundation that you want to be using a brush. Not with the sponge because I think the sponge just soaks up everything. I'm just going to cover the rest of my other face with the brush and let's see how well it does. So this was a part of the acne scar that the Booty Blender couldn't uh, control. So yes, hello coverage. Oh my gosh, this foundation is actually really nice. I think just a little bit of more concealer and I'll be good to go. So yes, yes, come through, come through Ayesa, come through. Okay, so let me just finish up my face. So I just finished up my makeup and we are going to be testing out the longevity. But before that, I just wanted to mention a couple of more things about the finish. And it is definitely a matte velvety finish. If you have dry skin, this will feel very, very dry on you. But if you're anything to combination to oily skin, I think you really like it. I don't know. I think I might end up really loving this foundation. And that's not a good thing because this was expensive. So I'm just going to be testing out this foundation for a couple of hours. It is 3 o'clock right now. So I'll see you guys in a couple of hours. Hey guys, I'm back. So it is currently 11 o'clock. So I've been testing this foundation out for about 8 hours. And on my right side, I did touch up again with a translucent powder. And the other side, I just left it alone for 8 hours. So this is how it looks like. And guys, apart from the fact that my skin looks really oily, Holy crud, like this foundation, the longevity is so on point. Like all the coverage is still there. My acne scars are still covered. It didn't get messy. It did get a tiny bit messy around here, but I think that's only because I layered it so many times when I was trying out with the booty blender and also with the brush. So I think that's the only reason why it got messy because on this side, it didn't get messy at all. You know, nothing icky around the nose or anything. The most thing that I'm like super impressed about 
about is that how it didn't run down or melt down messily on my chin. That's usually the problem that I have with a lot of foundations, especially the ones that have high coverage. But this one, it didn't get messy at all. And I did take a nap in between and there wasn't any transferring. It was just all there. So just to recap, this foundation applied way better with a brush. It had awesome coverage like people did say and it has an amazing longevity. Despite the expensive price, I'm gonna say it guys, I highly recommend this foundation. So that was it for the YSL All Hours Foundation. I hope you guys enjoyed and found it helpful and I'll see you guys in the next. Bye!